Hey everybody, Gangster7 here to hit y'all up with a solo commentary about my thoughts on the Medal of Honor Warfighter beta post beta. Okay, let's dive into this. Now, the beta was. <sighs> no, it was awesome. I loved it. I did a whole commentary about what I thought it was going to mean to me, and uh, it did. I pre ordered it. it. The beta dropped, I don't remember what day. It was like a fucking Wednesday or Tuesday or something, or Monday or what. <laughs> it was one of the days of the week that I didn't know why. But I pre ordered it that Sunday following. I pre ordered the game. All 60 some odd dollars. Pre ordered it. Limited edition. Boom. That's what the beta meant to me. The first time I had the opportunity, I pre-ordered it. Boom. That's what the game means to me. So that pretty much tells you, hey, this guy is damn serious about this game. And it, that beta was damn good. That's the easiest way I can explain it. I can end this commentary. The day, the first time I had an opportunity to pre-order the game, I did. That's what the beta meant to me. It was that good. I can go really in-depth about it, and I hopefully might... You know, I have a couple days before. But the beta was very simple. The gun on gun combat is very iffy at best. I, It's a, it's basically a fun in-between game, which is all it's ever been hyped up and sold as, which I give it credit. It, it really is. There's no Halo gun skill. It's not even Battlefield gun skill. It's more flimsical. It takes a lot of fucking bullets. Now, I don't care about the bullet damage, you know, it's not a big deal to me, you know, you might lose a couple bullet fights and you you get pissed, and I, I've had, a, I had like two or three, I remember, that were really bullshit, where I just like, come on, you can't be that fucking alive. I've had that happen. There's some bullshit. The kill streak system, I hope they fix, because you can get a two kill streak on one set, switch over to another set, and use it after you die. And so that is a little overpowered, which I think they will take out. Now, if they leave in, I, I like it, but I, I just find it a little overpowered. I, I, you get a two kill streak on a class that's useless, and you switch it over to assault and call in a guided missile, and boom. And so that's a little flimsical. I don't like that. So that's how I feel about that. I don't really like it. I get to break down the classes. I mean, it only gave you two guns, and mine was glitched so that I couldn't unlock the Underslung New 2 version of the M, not the M, but the HK416. So the beta sucked dick because the ranking up system was broken, and if the ranking up system is broken in the goddamn beta, which is a glorified fucking demo, what does that tell you about the goddamn game? They don't fucking test their shit. <sighs> I don't get it. I, I, I don't get it. It is the goddamn easiest thing to do. Test your motherfucking game. I have so many goddamn problems with game fucking developers for never goddamn testing their fucking game. I don't want to hear any bullshit. Well, you know, you get a million people to test the game and they'll find stuff that you're never going to find. I totally understand it, but some of this shit is major, like ranking up system broken. That's a fucking big thing. You can't fuck that up. I think talking about Call of Duty Zombies, that shit's a total joke when it comes to glitches and you don't test your motherfucking game. Now, as far as the beta, there was I'll talk about sniper class, the kill I mean I can break down the kill streaks, but a lot of them are bullshit. Like you drop a fucking radar jammer, that's eh. Who fucking looks at the radar in Warfighter when people get fucking spotlighted and guys glow red after he kills your teammate and stuff? That's a little underpowered. The map was good. Now I understand the people saying, well, Warfighter's not gonna be like this, and I totally understand that also. It was kind of like Battlefield and the Metro. Well, Battlefield was not going to be on Metro. No, I, which is kind of kind of bit a lot of people in their ass saying, well, they're trying to sell Battlefield 3 as like Operation Metro. And tell that to the majority of people that play Metro majority. So that basically means if you love Metro in the beta and you're like, well, battle, real Battlefield ain't going to be like Metro. Well, tell that to the people that pretty much only play Metro. So that's kind of a damn lie. And so that kind of false logic hurts you, but I don't totally picture that night map uh, being the biggest map on the game. I totally doubt it. That map, very good map, very good. Uh, something that an upper echelon game developer would put. The game type, very, I like the game type. I like objective type game types since playing it, since becoming a big fan of Rush. On the sense to the battlefield side, I really do. Domination was good, but it was it, it got weak over time. But it was good, and so that's. And I love. I'm sorry, Rush Mode might be my favorite game ever, my game type ever. I just love objective type game types because. Well, I'm a kind of a stat whore, that's why, but I, I just do like I like concentrated fighting, and concentrated fighting is a lot better than trying to camp. And concentrated fighting hurts campers because when you camp, you camp in a hot spot. But not a legit hot spot. Like, if you like on objective type game types, you know people are going to be fighting at certain points, choke points. But on TDM, there's not really any choke points. Just running around in circles looking for campers, and that's the truth. 
so that's why I like up tempo hotspot where it's like three minutes boom three minutes boom three minutes boom choke points constantly change spawn system was very weak i expected that from dice not from <laughs> danger close but fuck it i guess the screwing up spawn systems is what ea games are good at so i'll let them be good what they're good at so spawn system was iffy the recon class i mean the guns the bolt action was a bolt action i don't know what it is but it, dude come on it does like 90 damage you it's not a one-hit kill to, it felt like it was so fucking hard to hit them in their goddamn head compared to battlefield i don't know what it was but my battlefield sniping skill compared to my Medal of honor was a joke i was ass I, it just disappointed me how bad i sucked and i don't blame myself i blame the system and i can't, i really can't pinpoint so i probably just suck but the truth of the matter is, I can kill a lot of people sniping on Battlefield, and I blew ass with the bolt action. I, I think it's more of the map, but but it wasn't really built for it. But The hybrid sites in the game also BTW, those are fucking nearly flawless. Now, the one that goes from like an ACOG type, four times zoom, three times, whatever, then goes to iron sight, it's fucking clunky. It's, it, it's right in your goddamn peripherals, and it totally fucks you up when you're like running down and looking on a guy. It just totally fucks your mind, and it's... I hope they fix it to put it out of the fucking view because if they leave it in the view, it's going to frustrate me to nearly want to never use the hybrid sites because they're in your goddamn way. Now, the the the, the semi-automatic suppressed uh, LaRue semi-auto sniper, it might not be the name, but anyways, the, that hybrid site, now that, that's good. It goes from um, a mid-range one to a close range one and I like it I like it I like it I like it it works but to go from a and then but it because it was never in your peripherals and never was fucking your line of sight then you because when you hit left trigger you already know what's going to come up but you see on the left side of your screen when you aim down sight with the iron sight four times on the assault rifle when you aim down sight you see the thing disappear from your sight picture and it just totally fucks you but when you aim down sight on the other high on the other hybrids when you aim down sight there's nothing leaving your your screen. It just is. It's fluent, and the other one wasn't really fluent. It just totally changed your peripherals and stuff, and that's what affects you. Because as a gamer, your peripherals are your key. You make your bread and butter off of blind sides. So if you can't see half your fucking blind side because there's a goddamn cock, I mean a cock on your fucking screen, you're screwed. That's one of my bigger complaints, and it's totally arbitrary. And I'll get, I hope I get bashed for it because it's stupid, and I'm saying it, and I feel stupid about it. But that's just one of the things that annoyed me was the goddamn sight pictures. So, um, the LMG class. Now, hitting up on the D-pad, I felt like it was overpowered and underpowered. Or, actually, it's just underpowered. The whole, the gun, I think it was the guns for the uh, one where you t your, your bullets become super powerful. Well, you had no low low you had no low range sights on that AUG type gun, so that gun was completely useless in my book. And the other gun was eh, it was flimsy. I thought it was garbage, but so you basically had super powered ammo rounds for crappy guns, so that was pretty useless in my book. Now your secondary is a shotgun. Now that's very useful and I totally see that class becoming useful when the guns are, that you get to choose from are actually good. I found myself using the assault class the most and that's because it was the best there <laughs> you get just you get to fist people you get the grenades are also very underrated certain classes get you know certain grenades and uh and so that'll help help and hurt and i can't remember what the damn uh oh the noob tube was the up and so the noob tube was eh. i mean it's a noob tube but it just there was no there was no major weaknesses like the up wasn't useless on the d-pad the grenades weren't useless like some of the grenades in the game like like, one remote charge isn't useless, but I can't remember what the... Oh, none of them are useless. No, the one that throws flashbangs. Yeah, the point man. The goddamn fucking point man gets flashbangs. Those are completely useless. You get hit by maybe three flashbangs, three flashbangs, the entire beta that actually are useful. That's it. I, like, almost never died by a flashbang. Maybe, like, one time he flashed and killed me. It's totally useless. Like, they need to remove flashbangs from the game or do something to that point man class because that point man class is Gardooki. Maybe it's just the gun. Maybe if the assault rifle was really good with super powered rounds, with a super good gun, with the secondary as a shotgun, the flashbangs are fucking retarded. And they won't take them out because they're already in the game. They probably won't be taken out. I find the flashbangs as a joke. I find that whole class as being good. It's just the gun sucked in my book, so that was a waste of time. The LMG class, the LMGs were nasty. They were good. I like the bipod system, how you have like no recoil, unlimited ammo. I loved it. I loved the cooling down on the LMGs. 
I love how they bounce it out. Oh, God, I just thought the LMG class was just... Ugh. And I'm not an LMG guy by any means. I'm not a running gunner with an LMG. I'm not a, I'm somewhat of a camper, but whatever. No, I'm not a camper. I'm a running gunner. Check my SPM. But well, my point is, is I thought the LMG class was very good. You know, to make the up on the D-pad, like, have no... Like, because you have to bipod up. And bipoding up, you know, you're stationary. You get sniped. I got sniped a couple times on the bipod. So... You know, it, and on Medal of Honor, where like there's so many guys you where you can get flanked from, the bipod system is pretty good if they know how to counterbalance it the right way, and the enemy team you know snipe you off. And so I thought that worked really well. The kill streaks were iffy, like <laughs> I don't know, I I, I fucking kill streaks. Like if if you if you're not using a switchblade or a guided missile, you're just <laughs> you're just wasting time. It felt the Blackhawk was fucking useless. You were sitting duck nine times out of ten. You couldn't turn your angle to shoot the guy shooting at you, so you're wasting your time. So a lot of those are useless. So the the big kill streak where you get the the the, the max kill streak, basically the fucking pilot's useless. The gunner gets all the kills. So that, that doesn't make any sense. Also, so the kill streak system was eh. Basically, guided missiles and switchblade missiles, which are the same thing basically, are the only things useful. My favorite class to have fun with was the the one the heavy demolition guy, not the heavy uh, the heavy demolition guy with the submachine gun like the AKU or. Um, I can't remember if it was an MP7 or not, but I only use the AK, that's why I say this. Dude, going into juggernaut mode was awesome. It was fucking awesome if you're playing with a shitty team. Basically, that mode needs to be in more games to be able to just carry your team when they suck dick. Because there's, there's a difference. You can either play lighter and running gun with your team and help them out, PTFO, or you can run heavy when they suck and are useless. And that's I loved it. I loved it. If I was playing with my friend, I would I would just run assault because we would just fist kids. If I'm playing with shitty teammates, I'll run heavy because I can carry a team and take two or three guys out straight on because I got an extra 100% health. And so the remote charge, nearly useful. Like, you know, it, you know, you still have to detonate it. Like, it'd be a little bit better if it was probably Claymore, but that's cheap. I don't want to see Claymore, so I, I don't like saying that. But basically, if you use it, you have to keep in the back of your mind it's there. And if you keep it in the back of your mind it's there, you're, you're kind of inhibiting your brain from functioning 100%. So it kind of hurts you, to be honest. I mean, if you honestly think about it, it, it kind of hurts you. It's more fun to kill people with remote charge, though. I do give credit to that. It's just fun to throw <laughs> It's just fun to throw it and let, wait for someone to run on it and kill them quickly. I guess that's positive. Quickly, quickly. Pistols in the game. That was a major thing I had a problem with. The pistol sucked so much. Goddamn fucking dick. The 1911 in the goddamn game was weak. It sh like, it wasn't weak. It was really good, I mean. But the recoil system was garbage. You sh couldn't get three shots on target all spamming the trigger. And that's probably what they wanted. They didn't want none of the pistols to be like Battlefield... <laughs> But I thought the Battlefield pistol system was nearly flawless. Outside of the G18 to 93R, no submachine gun pistols in a fucking first-person shooter. Can we get this established, people? Make them skill. God damn. At least the fucking Rex and Magnum take some skill. You know, I I think the 1911 should be the only pistol that's the strongest. Maybe. I don't know about that. But but uh, not enough people with fucking skill use the Rex and Magnum. So that's kind of good. Like... You could kill by maybe two or three people using Rex and Magnums in a day that are, have skill. And that's what, and you don't see no noobs running them. You see the goddamn fuckers using G18s as a primary weapon. And and that's just, uh, there's no submachine guns please. And, and the fucking G18 and goddamn fucking Medal of Honor. Oh, God. Like, all the pistol sucks. So that's a positive. But get the fuck out of here with a goddamn submachine gun. If a guy wants to sit in the back of the map and snipe, don't give him a fucking primary weapon as a secondary. That's what I don't like to see. <sighs> counterintuitive out the ass but the pistol system like i said the 1911 wasn't the same 1911 from battlefield and then you know that's actually a positive not the same game not the same fucking guns but sure but the pistol was man nah, man like come on dude it was useless and that was the strongest pistol probably like a five hit kill <laughs> no but it seriously was like you could put it like two or three shots on a guy and and it, and it wouldn't all be on target, and so you'd lose. You could never switch your secondary and have any confidence in any. Co you could be as skilled as I think I am, and and like on battlefield, I switched to my secondary. I'm like, all right, I got, I got, a, I got a strong chance on beating this guy. Because I remember taking on an LMG guy that sprayed at me in a one v, you know, in a pretty fair one v one. It, I won't call bullshit at all. It was a fair one v one, and I lost. I used a suppressed 1911. He used like a 249 or something, sprayed it at me. 
and I honestly believed I could beat him, and I put about three shots into him, but I honestly thought I could beat him. And in Battlefield, uh, Medal of Honor, you have no, I never believed I could beat anybody. I would honestly switch to my secondary weapon, wishing that I didn't switch to it and reload to my primary to have a better chance. Never do I ever feel like that in Battlefield. I tried to hunt the guy down using like a, a technique where you, you fake right, go left, and go directly at him. And that's what I tried to do. I tried to hit him up from above a rock, and he just like, you know, sprayed at me like a noob, but I honestly had the utmost faith in my pistol skill and that I will never have a Medal of Honor, I don't think. And that's something that I don't like about Medal of Honor is the pistol skill is not there. And this will be a very long commentary, but so did In the Works and I, I Sweat, but this is solo, so maybe <laughs> it is less informative. But I'm spending the time of just sitting here talking to you guys, and, and that's kind of my point is I'm sitting here voicing my opinion, and I feel good about this. So... Hey, so maybe you enjoy this. But the pistol system was Garduki, and uh, so that's pretty much Garsuder. So that's pretty much how I feel about the pistol system. Like the 1911 didn't stay on target after three shots, and so and you could I never had any faith in my pistol skill, and that's what sucked. The pistol, like a lot of the game felt clunky, and I like the reloading systems and the pistols. The pistols looked so good. <laughs> Voice crack on the pistols though. They they did. They looked good. They sounded good. They felt good. They just sucked. <laughs> And it sucked, man. I thought the fucking game, it, like, I know people like to talk about graphics and shit, but once, but like I was thinking, come on, you're, you're, you can never talk about what game has better graphics when it's apples and apples, basically. The graphics of Battlefield Medal of Honor, like, you can't say, well, I, like, the PC guys try to say, well, the graphics for this game suck. The graphics fucking look great compared to COD. COD is, like, the base standard for gaming. Okay? COD is like the line. Either you're above COD, which makes you a good game, or you're below COD, which means you're just wasting your time. And that's the line. Line is COD. If your graphics are above COD, then your graphics are good. And remember, you're very handicapped to what the Xbox and PS3 can do, because they're outdated. And if you really think about it, these consoles have been out for like, what, 10 years? And they're running on 10-year technology? Come, and technology fucking change. Like, look at Apple. They're fucking dropping an iPhone every fucking year, basically. Think about that shit for a second. You got fucking consoles that people drop so... Uh, you drop more money on your fucking games than your goddamn hardware. Think about that. That'd be like dropping more money into your sound system than your car, but uh, that's a different story. But seriously, that'd be like dropping... You drop more money into your gas than your car. Shouldn't you have quality car to maximize the gas? And that's the truth. That is the truth. That is why people go eco... Not equal, but uh, that's why you go um, better mileage because that way you get more bang for your buck. You go with a better hardware system on PC. Like PC, you spend more money on your graphics card so you get better graphics, better enjoyment out of your game. And that's what happens. But in console land, you spend, you spend more money on your games with an okay hardware product. And that's very bad logic. That's very bad just planning and everything like that. So when you talk about graphics... The map being <laughs> the map being in the nighttime does not help. <laughs> Showcasing graphics, you think of like waterfalls and rainbows and plant life and grass, not black and <laughs> black and darker shades of gray. <laughs> That's the truth, though, man. Uh, you think of, when you think about graphics, I think of Shangri La. And I think of, like, maybe fine detail on Grand Bazaar, not Grand Bazaar, fine detail on Metro outside. And you think about fine details <laughs> on nighttime maps, everything, all the fine details covered up by shade. <laughs> shade from a tree covering up the bright lit moon compared to the bright lit sun is a joke. So, graphically, I don't think it's fair to base anything, so... So to say the game graphics suck dick is kind of like, come on, man. Like, you, play, you, could, play, you could easily blame the hardware if not just blame the map. So I don't know about that. So graphically, I give it, if I, I have to start rating this shit, but that'd be a lot more productive. But graphically, I'd rate it, you know, like a, it is Frostbite 2 point whatever, so it's a better version of the Battlefield. But graphically, I feel like it's like a tie. Like, it, it feels slightly more cartoony-ish. Then Battlefield, which is also something I just realized now, it does feel slightly more cartoonish, which is more COD style. Now, I'm not trying to start up any COD fight fan and shit like that, because I'll just fuck you in the ass, because I, argh, Call of Duty, argh, fisting. But, what else? We talked kill streaks, we talked map, map structure, map. I, like I said, the map I thought was very creative. It was a very good map, just. I guess maybe we wanted more out of a map, maybe. That's why I got slightly bad feedback, I'm guessing. But 
I thought the map, if you if you thought about the map, it was a good, it was a solid good map. The game type was really good. I look forward to playing Hotspot hopefully, unless there's something better. Because <laughs> let's not lie, let's not lie. I'll play whatever game type is the best, and that's pretty much mostly what I'll play. And then I'll play something else that's fun. Like I play Battlefield, I play Russian TDM. I don't force myself to play fucking boring ass Conquest even on good maps. It's just that. Eh. So I'll play whatever whatever game type I like the most. Overall, I'd give the beta, like, I don't fuck. I thought it was a good beta. Don't get me wrong. There, It was very, it was pretty polished for a beta. I mean, after playing Galo Reach's beta, which, but that was what a beta should be. Like, like in the work says, he calls it a glorified demo, and it's the damn truth. That's also another reason why rating this demo is kind of hard. It wasn't a real beta. It really wasn't. Like, look, like, the only way they can say it was a real beta is if they say, hey, this beta was... We finalized the beta six months ago. You're playing a six-month-old version of the game. But I do not believe they ever said that this was an older version of the game. I'm pretty sure Battlefield said that. They said it was an older version of the game, unlike unlike this, where it's basically a glorified demo. And other gaming companies, you really knew it was a beta, like Reaches, when they were putting out Lagerator Defense in the beta. <laughs> they were literally doing updates and stuff, trying to make it work and survive, unlike Medal of Honor, where they did some kind of bullshit, quote-unquote, update. Yeah, that was bullshit. So, I played it a lot until I unlocked everything. I do like the unlocking system, how it takes you a fucking hour to unlock... Okay, it takes fucking forever, but I like it. I honestly like getting my time out of a game. I don't want to spend a lot of time unlocking stuff. Just, no, I want to, <laughs> well, I apologize. I want to get my money's worth out of my game with, a, and the locking system was something Battlefield kind of, I don't know, it took, a, there's a lot of time. I still have a gun to unlock and stuff, so that adds major value. And the fact that in the Medal of Honor beta, which I hope it stays like that, is it takes you a lot of fucking time to unlock shit. Maybe it's because I didn't play the beta a lot, and that might be true. And the, But there'd be a lot more guns, there'd be a lot more shit to unlock, which is also good. So basically, I want it to take me a long fucking time to unlock everything in the goddamn game. And some games just give it all to you fast, and that's what Black Ops learned. Black Ops 2 is learning, you got to wait your time. And if you make them prestige a couple times to get, unlock fully everything, they're going to increase the replay value. And replay value is the entire multiplayer shooter, 9 times out of 10. And, yeah, like some multiplayer shooters like Halo 3 can be built off of just fun and skill and maps and everything being perfect. And others can be built off of unlocking stuff like Battlefield. So there is a difference, and, and if you or just unlocking stuff like Medal of Honor, I should have said. So, that's that's my thoughts on the um, unlocking system. I really liked it, and the pistol system sucked ass. <laughs> uh, binders full of pistols. Uh, <laughs> I should start that. But anyways, fucking pistols suck dick. You, oh, I, <laughs> The pistols blow a lot of dick. Like, if you didn't play the beta, which I wouldn't expect you to, the negative two people watching, basically, the Battlefield 3 pistol, like like the M9, Imagine like a hot, insanely higher version recoil of the M9. That's pretty much all the pistols. <laughs> Weak as shit, inaccurate as fuck, garbage. Period. So that's and the iron sights of the Glocks. I'm sorry. Even in Battlefield, every game with Glocks, they suck ass. I need to get my hands on a Glock in real life because I bet they have horrendous iron sights. I fucking hate Glocks. Their iron sights are garbage. How does anybody? I want to know who fucking develops or creates the Glocks. They need to work on iron sights. They suck dick. 1911 is the best iron sight, motherfucker. You aim down sight, or the pistols, I don't remember which one it was, like the six hour, where you see white, 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 and you see you aim down sight, and it's all white, and then it's perfect lined up and everything. Boom, that's the way iron sight should work. But this is weird. I'm, also, the graphics and the guns looked a little. Like the like the iron sight looked like jokes. The holographic sight and the cobra sight looked like jokes in the game. The cobra sight for the AK and the holographic for the um, the recon guy thing, not the recon, but the specialist, the speed guy, whatever. His shit looked like ass. The holographic, it looked like somebody smeared a holographic. Like they created a holographic sight and smeared it at the end. <laughs> it's the truth. It's the truth. The cobra sight looked like a cartoon. Somebody drew that also. They all look like ass. Like. Come on, man. The, the sights, they, that better be cheap polishing, man. The, the recoil in the game was also pretty much non-existent. We'll have to wait and see. Some of this is like, I'm hoping they fix it, and it was just a beta, like the recoil system, the bullet damage, you know, shit like that. I'm hoping that that'll change. 
and you know basing maps and graphics also dude, come on you can't make a fair assessment on one map one game one one dark map as the graphical uh, so the movement system also something i could talk about the movement the flu it wasn't as fluent as battlefield fluent battlefield you so if you just feel alive because of the parkour system and everything and everything just reacts per nearly flawlessly and and Medal of Honor was a lot stiffer, but that's also on purpose because they want certain people to move faster, certain people to move slower. Maybe that's what it was, and you're just not used to it. But I just felt like the overall movement and stuff was a little flimsy. And so, and I didn't really fuck with the aim, um, hit up on the deep, down on the D-pad to change your sight, uh, how fast you shoot single or off, single or an auto, which is something that Call of Duty's finally implementing in Battlefield had has. I mean, I don't. Because that was a big selling point in the beta was for me. Like, oh my god, I can switch my gun to three times. Um, this shoots three bullets or two bullets. Shit like that. And I was, that was a big selling point to me. I thought that was the greatest thing ever. Oh, the picking up cl uh, classes and uh, kits and stuff. This has been a 25-minute commentary. I'll try to wrap it up soon. But, <laughs> but picking up kits and stuff. Now... I got into a conversation and uh, the guy took like an opposing argument in which I love to hear his opposing arguments to my thoughts because it makes me think harder about myself and what I feel. And so I like getting unlimited ammo and regenerating health right away. Now people say you can probably take advantage of the health. I Okay, I think you could take advantage. Say you're, you're in a gunfight and it's like repairing your tank while somebody's shooting at you with another tank. And the team with the guy repairing it in the back will win. And that's pretty much how, it, how, that's how it might develop in battle, uh, Medal of Honor. So... But I like the not being able to pick up your kits, and I think that's more realistic because it, I'm sorry, but you watch the um, the one movie where like your your gun is your like girlfriend type shit, and it's like your gun is your your pride and joy, your your boyfriend. I, I, I can't. <laughs> Ugh, you have sex with your gun, you lube it up, and mm, gun like um, the band camp with the never. <laughs> Anyways, but seriously though. The, <laughs> But your gun is your boyfriend, basically, and, and your love of your life. And so in a real warfare, in a real war, you're not going to be picking up every gun you find and trading it in. And you're going to stick with your baby. Like, your gun, you're going to start from scratch with it nearly on Medal of Honor. Well, not actually, no, but you're going to fine-tune it to its perfection. And you're not going to want to drop perfection, which is I like how they how they stress the point. You're, you're, it's you and your gun, basically, because you don't drop your kit, and I like it a lot. I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. How you, it's you and your gun, that's it. And I, and I do find that more realistic. But then in the same sense, well, uh, the guy said, well, you can pick up, you know, you swap your guns, and you should be able to pick up the other gun, because in real life, that's what you would do. And, and, and it makes sense, but I just like it. I think it's slightly more realistic. I think in a real world, in a, in a real gunfight, you're going to stick with your gun, and you're going to, you know, everybody's going to be running on the same type of caliber rounds and stuff like that. Uh, that could really, I don't know a lot about bullets and stuff. But I just would presume everybody would have similar type of ammunition rounds. And, and more, more, more people would have the kind you need, the more people that wouldn't have the kind you need. Because you're all going to be running, you know, whatever the, whatever the best is that the government does. <laughs> the government does not go cheap on their guns. <laughs> America. But another thing I wanted to talk about was the nomadic system. Well, I mean, reviving system. I, that totally threw me off at first. And because um, I'm a big medic guy on Battlefield and I like reviving and stuff. And I just like reviving. <sighs> that That is like a big difference between Battlefield and Medal of Honor and the, the line between COD and stuff. The no, me the no reviving system. Oh, that is just, oh, man, it, it's, it's a big difference. It really is. Like it's more, you have to play a little bit slower pace and safer now. And that... That really will make a big difference of running and gunning. It's like you have no more security net of, say, you run into a... Something I do when I play when I run and gun and stuff is... If it's me and my friend and we're both medics, you know, I normally just run in there recklessly, willy-nilly, because I know he's going to clean up my mess. I'll run in there and I'll shoot a guy and take him down like 50% health and he'll be camping and he'll mow me down because he had the element of surprise and stuff. Now my guy will come in right after me... Clean up the mess, kill him, and revive me. And that is something you'll have to you'll have to change your game type. You'll have to play it slower, more tactical. And once again, I understand why they're doing it, and I like, and it totally makes logical sense. And I, but I just miss the medic system. I like being able to play slightly more reckless and having my boyfriend clean up my mess, and I like it. Now, that's why they turn red and stuff, and so it can still happen, but it's just not worth it. But I do, and and also the spawning on your buddy system. It's a little flimsy. I don't know. It, it should be more like Battlefield where you can just force yourself to spawn on them and boom, get fisted on the spawn. 
So I, I don't understand the difference between Battlefield and Medal of Honor. It's like, does the Medal of Honor really, do they at Danger Close really think if you're being shot at, you don't want to spawn on him and help him? I don't know. I, I feel like it should be, maybe because they heard a lot of feedback from Battlefield people, like, I'm tired of spawning on my guy and he's getting shot at. Oh my god, I hate it. And it's like, well, you know, we'll take your time for spawning in and think about it, but... You know, nobody wants to blame yourself, and I, I got to blame myself more often when I do it. I spawn, I'm like, oh my god, I keep spawning and getting killed. This is so gay, and I blame, I blame the game, but it's really my fault. And so I kind of feel like waiting four fucking seconds, he gets shot at four seconds, four seconds. I'm like, come on, man. Also, the B system, or the moving your shit around and uh, poking and peeking and dildoing that, it looks cool. My friend does it a lot. <laughs> he makes it look fucking awesome. And uh, we'll have to see. Uh, it doesn't work because I play with the Battlefield control system, so it's completely useless for me. I can't hit B and right stick at the same time. It does not work. It literally will not work. So <laughs> so that doesn't work for me. But maybe I could see people doing it and stuff. I don't really see it happening and becoming a thing, that's for sure. I can't use it anyway, so it's completely useless for me. But the peaking system, I guess, they're throwing in some third-person shooter type elements to make it work and poking the head behind walls and stuff. But... I, that'll never work for me, so I don't. I really can't voice my. I don't have an opinion on it other than it's useless for me. So it might be useful for you if you you know play like bumper jumper type shit like that. And also, we're you know uh, we could talk about how basically I said I'm pre-ordering and I've already pre-ordered. Boom! I can't wait. I'm so excited for the game and I can't. I'm just excited for a new game. But I was really loving it and I I pre-ordered it. And Kenny, you know, will play the uh, negatory guy. He'll play the Republican side of. Uh, he didn't like it. And because it was different, pretty much. But um, he, he's perfectly allowed not to like it. And hopefully, he'll get it one day. And if he doesn't, then he doesn't. But like I said, what it came down to is what your mindset is going into the beta will probably tell you if you like it or not. And that's what it really seemed. If you go in with the open mind, you probably liked it. If you go in with a closed mind, like Kenny, I asked him, "What do you like?" He left in my comment that it means nothing to him. And he and so coming out of it, the beta means nothing to him. And I said the and when I said the beta, it means everything to me. The beta is the nail in the coffin, and it did not let me down. It was a nail in the coffin. I pulled the trigger, boom, I bought it. And then, and then my friend Jordan, he said it'll mean everything and nothing at the same time, because he already pre-ordered. But it also means everything going into it. He knows what he's gonna expect and stuff like that. And, and it, it, basically, if you think about it, it means everything and nothing at the same time. He makes sense, and he's right. So it came down to what your mindset going into the beta was, and it wouldn't let you down no matter how you went into it, because it would come out the way you wanted it to come out. And that's something that made me happy. I went in with the beta with optimism and, and excited and also a lot of pressure on it, and I was not let down, and it was good. And I have, you know, I have some things to complain about and stuff like that, but I, at the end of the day, I pre-ordered, and that's all that matters. I put my money where my mouth is, and that's how I defend my opinions in life is i put my fucking money where my mouth is i put my musical interest and my money there i put my gaming interest and money there i put my youtubing uh future career where my money is boom i put it there 600 dollars on a computer if i believe in something i'll put my money where my mouth is and that's not what a lot of people do they like to talk a lot of fucking shit like i support this i support that i support this i support that i like that guy as a rapper i don't buy his fucking albums i support that and i don't do that i support premarital sex but i don't support fucking um i don't fucking know <laughs> but that's just the truth but anyways <laughs> this is your boy gig saying seven rambling on at the end i support this i support that i support a binder full of bitches <laughs> no 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 take that offensive i'm just joking binder full of women <laughs> oh this has been your boy gig or seven with a very long commentary but i felt like i had a lot of fun and i voiced my opinion and it was very good and um if anybody watches this full thing, I fucking thank you. I will send you like zero dollars and zero cents. Like, thank you. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. For anybody to watch this, it really does mean a lot to me. As I'm doing this, just I'm not doing it only for me, but I'm doing it mostly for me. And that's, that's also another way. I have fun doing this, and I feel like if I voice my opinion, somebody out there in the world will be like, hey, I like this guy's opinion, I'll subscribe to him. And uh, I feel like that'll be uh, a stronger thing and later coming down the road when I become a bigger, um, when I try harder on YouTube and when I get my computer and stuff. So, if anybody really did watch this, thank you a lot, though. It uh, means a lot to me. And uh, uh, leave a comment and stuff like that, guys. Uh, definitely leave a comment. If, if you're willing to watch all this, please be willing to leave a comment. <laughs> but um, leave a uh, like or dislike. Likes help me out. Dislikes hurt me. Make me sad. <laughs> but anyways, uh, this has been your boy, Gangster 7 I If you enjoyed this and want to see me do more opinionated stuff like this, uh, hit me up. And... Uh, Put a foot up a uh, fucking ill media tours and Kenny the Pro's ass to join me in these dual commentaries. I've opened, I've asked them to do dual commentaries with me about opinionated stuff, and uh, everybody wants to be a Jew about it. So 
look look forward in the future for hearing from my, from me, and look forward into the future hearing from them if you do your job and tell them to get off their lazy asses and give a second opinion. It, from everybody from this room that I'm in, which is nobody, this has been your boy Gangster 7 Peace out! <laughs>